HVI's DTS A-Series are durable oil dielectric test sets used for the accurate measurement of the breakdown voltage for insulating fluids used in high-voltage electrical equipment and apparatus. Common testing standards include ASTM D877-2013, ASTM D1816-2012, IEC 156-1995 plus seven other international standards. The DTS A-Series feature a liquid crystal display screen, a five-key keypad, a dot matrix printer, an interface and cable for data export, and user-friendly menus built into the devices. They're designed to test, store, print, and export results for a wide variety of pre-programmed tests that adhere to local and international standards, in addition to user-defined tests. They feature digitally controlled rates of rise for supplied voltages, have a high degree of accuracy for voltage measurement, and a shutdown time after arc detection of less than five milliseconds. They include a viewing window for the observation of oil testing and subsequent arcing, HVI is proud to offer a sturdy and mobile series of testing units that are used all over the world for testing dielectric insulating oils. In this video, we will review the control and display features of the device, basic menu operation, getting set up for a test, and running a dielectric test on an oil sample. The DTS A series have an input power connector located on the top left of the panel. It accepts most standard three-prong electrical cords. Please note, the power supplied through the cord must come from a grounded source that's been rated to match their specifications in the user manual. The DTS A-Series main power button is located on the bottom left of the panel. When powered on, the switch will illuminate in red. The DTS A-Series LCD display is located in the middle of the panel the digital display guides users through the menus and functions of the device. The keypad for the DTS A-Series is immediately below the main display screen. There are five keys in the keypad. The primary menu button, a back button, up and down buttons to navigate through the menu lists, and an enter button. Depending on the model and menu, the back button may also enable oil stirring, and the enter button may enable test starts. The printer for the DTS A-Series is found on the top right of the panel. It's a 40-column dot matrix printer that works with standard receipt printer paper rolls. Immediately above the printer is a connection for exporting test data to a PC. Supported types include the RS-232 serial connections, or USB HID serial connections. Inside the DTS A-Series window lid is where high voltage is actually applied to oil samples for testing purposes. The lid rests on a corner switch for safety purposes. When the lid is open, the switch is no longer depressed down and high voltage cannot be applied. A screw-on storage tray inside the lid space is there to house accessories for the device such as oil vessels, oil stirrers, gap gauges, printer paper, and cables. Below the storage tray is the high voltage output cradle. It's spaced and shaped to house the appropriate oil vessels. At the very bottom of the device is a drip tray for convenience. Oil that spills or drips from vessels can be removed, wiped, and cleaned from the tray, making it easier to maintain and extending the life of the device. DTS A-Series device operation is based on a standard structure of menus and submenus, all of which can be controlled with the five basic buttons on the keypad. In the highest level menu, there are four major functions to choose from. The first and most common is Select Test. Choosing Select Test will send users into the testing submenus. From there, users can choose from a collection of predefined tests or from a collection of user-defined tests. A representative selection and running of a test will be demonstrated later in this video. The second major function is settings. From here, users can control and modify basic device settings, such as time and date, region and language, and operator name or ID. 
Users can also modify the contrast on the display screens and update the device's firmware version. The third major function is test history. From here, users can find and access the stored results from previously run tests. The DTS A series automatically saves the results of the last 50 tests run on the device. The fourth and final major function is remote operation. This function utilizes the cable connection on the DTS A series to connect the device with a computer or external device. This function allows users to export test results, create and save user-defined tests, and to update firmware versions. The remote operation function is mutually exclusive to testing functions on DTS A series devices. When in remote operation mode, tests cannot be run, and when testing, all export cables should be removed. Later in this video, we will demonstrate how to find and select a standard predefined test. For more information on other specific submenus or functions, please consult your user manual. Setting up for a test. Find a location that allows for easy view of the control panel and display screens. Make sure that all controls are off and that the device is in a de-energized state. Open the DTS A series lid and remove the storage tray and any accessories from within the device. Connect the main power cable to the power connection on the upper left corner of the device. Plug the main power cable into a grounded power source. Turn the main power button on. When powered on, the device will display the current firmware version number and then perform a series of self-tests. When the self-tests are complete, the last selected test will be presented. A simple test, a standard test, or a user-defined test. A warning message will prompt users to recheck and confirm the electrode spacing for oil vessels. At this time, users can open the lid check the oil vessels and electrode spacing one last time before initializing a dielectric oil test. Running a test per a pre-programmed standard. The DTS A series comes preloaded with the most common domestic and international standards for the testing of insulating oil. To run a standard test, such as for ASTM D1816-2012, first choose Select Test from the highest level menu. Use the up and down arrows to navigate to standard tests and press enter. Use the up and down arrows to find the intended test standard. Press enter again to choose the test. The DTS A series will now prompt the operator to confirm the spacing and type of electrodes used for the test standard. Different oil vessels are appropriate for different test standards used in different countries or regions. Always confirm the oil vessel and electrode spacing are correct for the test standard chosen. Adjust the spacing as needed with the supplied Allen wrench and gap gauge per the applicable standard. Fill the appropriate oil vessel with an amount of oil sufficient for testing purposes. Make sure the oil vessel and the oil itself are free of dirt and contaminants that could interfere with testing or impact test results. Keep oil vessels and accessories in good, clean, working condition as a regular best practice. Lift the device lid and carefully place the oil-filled vessel into the DTS A-Series device. Confirm the oil vessel's electrodes are in physical contact with the cradle. Connect the oil stirrer power cable and place the stirrer securely inside the oil vessel. Close the device's lid. Please note. The DTS A series come with a lid controlled switch that prevents the generation or application of high voltages when the lid is open. The lid must be closed to run any type of dielectric oil test. Press start to initialize the test. The device will now perform the test in a specific sequence of steps per the chosen test standard. After an initial rest period, the device will stir the oil sample within the vessel if required per the applicable standard or user-defined test. Voltage is applied at a predefined rate of rise until dielectric breakdown occurs. At the point a breakdown occurs, a small but visible arc should appear in the gap between the oil vessel's electrodes. The device will make note of the time and voltage level at first breakdown and store it. 
The device will continue to stir the oil to mix and dissipate any carbon or other contaminants when applicable before and during the application of high voltage to the oil again, as defined by the chosen test standard. After a predefined number of breakdowns, the test set will have collected a number of data points and will determine whether the results fall within or outside of an acceptable level of deviation for that specific domestic or international standard. When the standard test is complete, the display screen will first show the test results, including the mean breakdown voltage and the standard deviation. Users will now be asked if they wish to print results. The results of the last 50 tests are stored internally and can be printed and exported later at any time. Once tests are complete, be sure to remove the oil vessels and discard oil per local rules and regulations. Clean the oil vessel in accordance with the applicable national or international standard. Clean the removable drip tray if any spilling occurred. Resecure the storage tray in the device. Be careful to never travel with vessels in the cradle or the storage tray unsecured as they can damage the device cradle. This concludes the overview of the DTS A-Series dielectric oil test sets. For more detailed information on usage and maintenance of the DTS A-Series, refer to your user manual. Thank you for choosing HVI and our three generations of engineering excellence.